That is a class meatloaf right there. Look how moist that is. A tiny hint of the Irish in there, you know? Perfect. What a fantastic Irish meal. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick today. We're in the centre of Ireland. When I was on my travels, I wrote down a load of notes. We're in Offaly. Now, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm from Yorkshire. Offaly, Offaly, whatever. You know, we're in Offaly and we are making an Offaly bacon loaf. Now, traditionally, I'm not sure if this actually came from there, but when I was there, I had an Offaly bacon loaf. It was superb. It's a, a take on a meatloaf. It's fantastic. It's full of bacon. It gives a flavor, it gives a moisture. You know, meatloafs are quite dry. This was so moist. I've made it a couple of times since and I'm gonna make it today. Okay, what we need to do is cut some bacon and put some milk in some breadcrumbs. That's the first job on here. So we have some breadcrumbs and we want to be going, they've got about a cup and a half in there actually, and we want to be going in there with about a cup full of milk, something like that. You know, if you put more in, that's up to you. We just want to let those breadcrumbs soak up all that milk. We want a moist meatloaf in here, you know. Put to one side. Bacon. You can get your butcher to, to mince it up if you so wish. I've already pre-chopped some bacon. Now it really doesn't get any simpler. You know, you either mince it or you dice it. And I want it diced. You know, I want a bit of texture in my uh, bacon loaf. So we're just going to come through there like that, you know. Nothing complicated about this. And then we're just going to slice it through. That's all. You fine dice. Nice and steady. Fine dice through your bacon. And this is actually going to be mixed in with our mince. Now I'm using smoky bacon and it'll give that smokiness all the way through. So that's our bacon. I'm just going to dump that in there. Oven on 350, 175 at home. Air fryer oven on, and we're going to do 170 preheat. I've already chopped some onions, fine diced, and I've got some garlic. We've got the old pan on, going with what oil or butter or anything that you want to use. Flame on, onions and garlic in there. Just give it a little whiz around in there. All we're doing is softening up, releasing a bit of flavour. Don't worry about cooking it as such. Flame too high. Don't worry about cooking it as such, just soften it down. Use white onion, red onion, any onion, it doesn't matter. You know, like I say, this is a fantastic meatloaf alternative. Folks love meatloaf around the world. But you know, sometimes it's really dry inside. This is a really nice moist meatloaf. From the fats from the bacon, you know. That'll do nicely. We got our breadcrumb milk mixture there. Look, just chuck those onions in there. Now, a couple of eggs. Give them a bit of a beating. Get a glove on. Now you don't need to put a glove on if you don't want. That's up to you. In there with our pork mince. In there with our bacon. In there with some dried thyme. In there with some parsley. Now if you have fresh parsley, use fresh parsley. Little bit of pepper. Season to taste. Whatever you like. And salt and mix. Bring it all in. Nice and steady, get it all in there. Mix it all through. In there with some nutmeg. A 
How we want to be going in there with a splash of the old Irish. Now we want about a quarter cup. Something like that. That's about a quarter cup. Depending on whose cup you use. So let's just bring that in there. And then in there with our beaten egg. One side. Okay, we want to be mixing up a glaze. I've got some brown sugar in here. We're going to go in with some ketchup. In we go. About that much. In with some mustard powder. About that much. And in with some apple cider vinegar. And just bring it all together. And that is our glaze for our bacon loaf. That smells tremendous. Line out your tin if you can with baking parchment. If you don't line it out, make sure you rub it round all over with butter so it doesn't stick. Now I don't have any baking parchment. I've run out. So I've just used some loaf tin liners and that's what I'm going to do. Just use that. Right, we want our mix in there. And you want to be squashing it in there. We're making a meatloaf, but idea is you sort of like squash it down, but don't compact it too much. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but if you just squash it down, it holds together loosely and we have a nice textured meatloaf. The idea is just not to overwork any of this. If you overwork it too much, you end up with a real solid mass. Now that actually looks like a fantastic pan full of flavor right there. It really does. All those onions and that bacon in there with that pork. Now we are going to go over there with some of that and I'm also going to keep some back. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cook this with tin foil on or aluminium foil for those who don't like the word tin foil. I'm going to cook this with the foil on first, then we're going to take the foil off and we'll put some more of that glaze over the top and give it an extra 15 minutes in the oven. See if it'll caramelize all, all over the top. Grab yourself a tray. And that is going on there. Grab yourself some reusable alloy foil. And that is going on there. That is going in the oven one hour. One hour, we'll have a look at it. Take the top off, slap some of that glaze on the top. Put it back in for another 15, 20 minutes. Job done. That's been cooking for an hour. We're going to take that out and we're going to get that tin foil off there. Okay, so off with this alloy foil or tin foil, whatever you know it by. Now what we're going to do is we go over there with that little bit of sauce that we kept. And let's just spread that out on there. And we're going to caramelize that over the top, hopefully. That's the plan. That's going back in the oven for another possibly 20 minutes. Might do 30 yet. I want that crust over the top to actually go a bit sticky and uh, caramelize on there, but we don't want to burn it. So we're going to have to watch it. This will be cooked inside here. It's only pork and bacon. So we don't have a worry in the oven. Here we go, and we're going on there for about another 20 minutes. Let's have that out of there. Oh, 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 oh that is superb. Just look at that beauty. So there you have it. 
out of there it smells absolutely fantastic everywhere in here that bacon and pork smell you can smell that glaze all over the top it's incredible we're going to give it about probably oh, i don't know five six seven minutes somewhere around about there let it cool down a little minute and we're going to take it out and we'll serve it up with some root vegetables some mashed potato swede and carrot mashed and some happy little carrots well i'm liking this just look at that get that out of that tin so i think all we have to do is cut into it and see how moist it is on the inside look at that that is superb you ready for the moisture look in there that is a class meatloaf right there. Lucky here. That is nowhere near dry. That is super, super moist all the way through. That is incredible. All we need to do now is serve some up. Just look at that. Awfully bacon meatloaf made. Unbelievable. I've got some happy little carrots. I've got some mashed potato. And I've got some Sweden mashed carrot with butter. Perfect. What a fantastic Irish meal. All we got to do now is give it a taste test. Look how moist that is. A tiny hint of the Irish in there, you know. That is really incredible. That is fantastic meatloaf. And that really is moist. That is awfully bacon loaf made. Not bacon in a loaf, bacon loaf as a meat loaf. That is incredible. We've got some happy little carrots. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash. We've got some happy little carrots. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video.